Hello, this is the inside of the Mosquito Team deterrent and I would like to talk to you about the switch settings and also about the programmable chip. This unit is installed with programmable chip number three. This means that the unit will sound for as long as power is provided or alternatively by moving the position of switch number one to the on this will now examine the trigger terminals marked trigger minus and plus. When these two terminals are shorted by extension switch or possibly in a remote control unit, then it will sound only when these terminals are shorted. Switch number two. Switch number two is used to alter the frequency of the device. As it is in the off position, this produces the high frequency noise that is irritating to teenagers. In the on position, this produces a frequency that is audible to all. Switch number three in this position is in the off, and in the on position, the device will now make an audible beep to all approximately once every 40 seconds. That is to warn people that a device is running if they are unable to hear the high frequency sound the unit generates. Switch 4 and 5 are volume settings. There are four volume settings available. As this is, 4 and 5 are off. This is the highest setting. To reduce that setting by 1, move switch 5 to the on position. To move it by two steps, move switch 4 to the on position. To move it by three steps, switch 4 and 5 should be on the on position. As I mentioned, this unit is installed with a chip number three. If the chip number three is replaced with a chip number two, this changes some of the programming characteristics of the Mosquito. The most important of which is that it, can, it stops the unit from sounding after 20 minutes of activation. So whereas with a chip three will run continuously power is provided, with a chip two it will only run for 20 minutes. But chip two is also used more regularly with the programming terminals. With a remote control or a passive infrared device wired across the trigger terminals, with a chip two in place, switch one governs how long the device will run for when these terminals change state. In one position, it provides five minutes of runtime, and in the other, it provides a couple of minutes of runtime. 